question to you today is, what is the American dream now? You know, I talk a lot about the American dream and how the American dream has changed over the years. But what has the American dream changed for you? I'm not gonna talk about a blanket statement because I'm gonna share with you what the American dream was for me and what it is now. It's a big difference between what it was 20 years ago and what it is now. And I think my sentiments are for a lot of you. I think a lot of you have realized that the American dream has changed through the years. You know, with everything that's going on in our world, the American dream holds a different kind of value than what it did 30 years ago. Oh, the beloved American dream. Back in the 1980s and 90s, we valued success on what was parked in our parking lots, in our driveways. We valued success on what our house looked like. Even though a lot of people value that these days, it's not quite the same. Success was the in-ground swimming pool, the nice brand new trucks and ATVs and all kinds of extracurricular activity of going to the mountains and going to the beach and going to all these places. That was the American dream. So way back, back in the 1940s and the 30s, you would start seeing advertising. Advertising for the American dream is gonna revolutionize our life. The women didn't have to work on the laundry for hours on end and the men, they could have things automatic. That was supposed to be the American dream. You know, the house with the white picket fence and the TV in every living room. We were gonna have all kinds of equipment and all kinds of things that would do our work for us. Look where we are today. Did it really give us the American dream or was it just a fake reality? And so now people are going back to the old ways of living because they realize the American dream was just a fantasy that you could never really make come true. Yes, there are people who live in the rich and famous lives, but slowly but surely, there's more of us that are living the life of simplicity and living a life of not necessarily what we would call the American dream, but have we made it into a dream? I think we have. You know, maybe back in the 1920s and 30s, it really wasn't all that bad. Yes, there's modern technology, because hi! I'm looking at you through a camera and the world can see me and I'm so thankful for that But yet I can't help but think that the American dream has shifted. It's changed So what is the American dream? I'm gonna share with you the American dream in my eyes I'm gonna share with you what I feel is the American dream now What is the American dream? Well more and more senior citizens are trying to find work in the workplace You see it everywhere they're trying to get back into work because they need the money. Times are tough. It just doesn't seem to be enough of money to go around. But you know, the American dream still is very much alive in the hearts of people. Now I'm 50 years old, so a lot of you would say I'm still young yet. But you know, the American dream is alive in a lot of people's hearts. To me, the American dream is to live back simply. Me. Living a dream is living with what you got, making the very best use of what you can find. 90% of the things you see on my homestead were things that I found for free. I didn't have much money when I moved here. As you know, we went from riches to rags. <laughs> but what we used here is stuff we found. And this is my dream now. And it is a beautiful dream to have, but it's a dream of not having as much. You know, the old saying, sometimes more is less. So what you're saying is, living with less is living with more. And that's right. Living with less is living with more. Let me explain a little further. For me, by not spending money 
and doing things the old way, I'm really saving a lot of money. Not only am I not spending it, I'm also saving it. The more you can do with your two hands, the less bills and the less things that you have to pay for. You know, all of the things that we buy are services, are things that we can do ourselves. And the harder the service, the more you're gonna pay. So the harder the service, the more you can learn those things, the less money you will be spending. So my American dream is living simply, not worrying about what's parked in my driveway or in the parking lot, and surely not worrying with what I own, but taking care of what I do have. That way it can last me so many more years. I did a video where I shared with my daughter gave me this washing machine because it didn't work right, it wouldn't drain. Somebody said, well, why in the world don't you just go and buy yourself a new one? Exactly, that's exactly what I'm saying. Buy yourself a new one, what? Go and buy it and then not have your money to save? Come on. It's thoughts like that that just really, really get under my skin. Well, because something is partly broke means that you just throw it away. We've done enough of throwing away in society. Now it's time to use what we have until you can't use it anymore. How about your car? You're just tired of it because you're tired of looking at it. So you get yourself another one. Things like that, we can't live that way anymore. The American dream has changed for a vast majority of all of us. We use with what we got. The back to basic movement. I think that's one good thing about everything that's happened around our world in the year of 2020. And that is, I think people are starting to realize, hey, wait a minute, let's think a little bit. I mean, we were all forced to, we were all in our homes more. And so I saw people taking care of their properties better. People were more at home. I think they had more of a chance to take a breather and they were able to just enjoy more what they have at home. Even though it was and is an extreme financial burden. I know all about that. You know, the financial burdens are very hard for the vast majority of us. And so we either got to learn how to make more money or learn how to save more money. And it seems to me they're both very hard, but I think saving money right now is what people need to do, is they need to learn how to live without. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for enjoying these videos. These videos are a little bit different lately and that is just simply because I wanna share with you more in detail when I'm working on things and just talking with all of you. See you guys tomorrow. So my friends, I leave you with two choices. You can be the type of person that fills your quart jar with money and fill it really tight, or you can be the same person who takes money out one by one of your quart jar and soon you're empty with nothing left to take. I wanna be the one that fills my quart jar with money instead of trying to take it out. What kind of person are you? Oh, ho, ho. are you the kind of person to make sure there's no money left? All right, my friends, I just want to make sure you realize that this is a series. It's a series of quite a few videos now where I take you from the very beginning of $300,000 in debt. And then why do we buy a mobile home that was broken up until what is the American dream and what is it now? All of these videos I'm sharing with you at the end of this one in case you missed it. 
because it's really quite an interesting series that I have been putting out. 